In this tutorial, we'll look at setting the physical inventory and adjusting the inventory of individual products. When operating in multi-warehouse mode, you need to set up the warehouses in which you store the inventory before bringing it into your Seller Cloud system. To learn how to set up your warehouses, please watch the warehouse configuration video. Open a product and click on the Product Warehouse link located next to the Inventory Quantity fields. On this page, you'll see a list of your warehouses and columns that will show their inventory quantities. Below the summary are tabs for changing the inventory amounts. Click on the Set Physical Inventory tab. Entering a value here will set the actual unit count of that particular item in a particular warehouse. Select a warehouse from the dropdown. Now enter a value in the physical quantity field. Let's explain the significance of setting the time and date of the physical count correctly. In order to calculate the amount of units available for sale, the system will consider all deductions and additions of the product that occurred after the date and time of the last physical count. If the date and time are inaccurate, the system might be calculating incorrectly. You can change the date and time before saving the physical count to reflect the correct time. For example, if the count was made yesterday, click on the calendar and clock and select the date to reflect the time of the actual physical count. Click Save Physical Inventory and the quantity will be saved in the system. The Adjusting Inventory tab is used for adjusting the quantity of a product at a time when it's not necessarily important to set the physical quantity. For example, if a product was damaged in the warehouse, you would simply adjust the inventory to reflect one less by entering minus one. If you found more inventory that was previously not entered, you would adjust the quantity accordingly to show more. To adjust inventory, select a warehouse and enter an adjustment quantity. To make an adjustment, you need to select an adjustment reason. Adjustment reasons can be saved under the Settings tab by clicking on Inventory Adjustment Reasons. All adjustments will be saved in the grid below and will include the quantity of the adjustment, when it was adjusted, and who did the adjustment. Under the Reports tab, you can generate an inventory adjustment audit to track all adjustments made to any product in your system. For more information on setting or adjusting inventory, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.